along with the mesmerizing skyscrapers, the Hollywood sign, and monuments of Los Angeles, California, the LA River is another landmark which catches one's eye. Although referred to as a river, it is a massive concrete embankment and floor which acts as a drainage system. With its headwaters in the Simi Hills and Santa Susana Mountains, it spans for 51 miles from Canoga Park all the way down to Long Beach, where it converges into the Pacific Ocean at San Pedro Bay. The concrete embankments of the LA River have in time become a cinematic icon, appearing in globally acclaimed movies such as Transformers and Terminator 2. Back in the day, the LA River was the primary source of water and its tributaries supported many colonial and indigenous communities. With the coming of the 1900s and the boom of population, people built their homes and establishments along the banks and floodplain of the river. With heavy rainfall, there were many floods within the period of 1900 to 1940 which reportedly cost hundreds of lives and property of those that settled. As means of mitigating casualties, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers decided to line the banks and floor of the river and its tributaries with concrete to create an intricate network of water drainage channels. The project was a massive success, but the construction of these concrete embankments in the mid-90s have over time caused intensive damage both socially and environmentally. Instead of being a focus for communities along its 51-mile-long course, the river separates them, exacerbating profound cultural and economic divisions. Those communities particularly toward the southern end of the river tended to be racial and ethnic minorities who were challenged by deteriorating social, economic, and environmental conditions. The construction of the freeway system during the 1950s and 60s displaced nearly 250,000 people. Today, the 710 freeway which runs adjacent to the lower LA River contributes to the poor air quality and heightened disease rates of nearby neighborhoods. To rectify the mistake made, the LA County officials along with a handful of supervisors and stakeholders have put together an initiative to revitalize the LA River by transforming it into a natural urban habitat, along with many other community-based amenities. Upon the concretizing of the river, Many activists, environmental organizations, and indigenous communities demanded for the restoration of the river into a natural river ecosystem. The proposals for the restoration were presented as far back as 1996, but the current project was proposed by U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and adopted by the city in 2016. The master plan was further amended in 2020. Starting out at Griffith Park through to downtown Los Angeles, the project aspires to restore 11 out of the 51 miles of the river. The project will likely restore hundreds of acres of land for several flora and fauna, walking trails, and natural areas while maintaining the flood risk management facade. It will also instate 14,200 construction jobs and a further 2,700 permanent jobs over a period of completion of 25 to 50 years. Among the future work identified in the plan are parks, trails, floodplain reclamation, community centers, and construction of low-income housing. With the entirety of the project being highlighted in the 2020 update to the Los Angeles River Revitalization Master Plan, the project is broken down into segments, Upper LA River Master Plan and Lower LA River Revitalization Plan. The Upper LA River Master Plan primarily highlights the revitalization of the river from its sources at Canoga Park down to Vernon. Along with enhancing the waters of the main river, it also identifies tributaries in which this project can be implemented. It emphasizes the opportunity for low-income communities with limited access to green space by implementing economic drivers such as parks, trails, and recreational areas. The Lower LA River Revitalization Plan has been in implementation since 2018 and focuses on the stretch of the river from Vernon to Long Beach. The communities residing along the banks of this section of the river has been identified as those predominantly of color and earning less than average income comparatively. 
These locals are exposed to massive pollution and have little access to greenery. The project aims to have equitable access to nature, build recreational spaces and create socio-economic opportunities that benefits the community, along with restoring the natural river while managing the flood risks. The LA River project is expected to cost $25 billion and its work will span over the next quarter century. The restoration project is to receive funding from the federal infrastructure law and this subsidization comes as part of the $1.2 trillion federal infrastructure bill signed by President Biden in 2021, which aims to improve infrastructure across the United States. Dozens of previously funded projects along the LA River are already underway, including an effort to connect a series of bikeways that runs along the channel into a more continuous network. In total, there are 22 major new projects and hundreds of smaller construction initiatives identified in the master plan. More ambitious efforts are in the works as well. Playing a major role in the revitalization project, architect Frank Gehry has unveiled a bold plan to uplift the profiles of Southern California's poorest, most densely crowded communities along the backbone of the county's flood control system. Gary's plan includes elevated platform parks, massive bridge-like green spaces above the flood channel's musty floor. These parks would stretch nearly a mile over both rivers and support a lush landscape of trees, grass, scenic ponds, horse trails, and walking paths. The platform parks are big-ticket projects that could take a decade or more to build. Gary has also planned to build a cultural center as part of the LA River project. It is projected to cost $150 million, and the center will be built on a riverside parcel currently used as a county maintenance yard just north of the massive 710 and 105 freeway interchange. The cultural center will include a large concert hall, artist studios, restaurants, and a large plaza where everyone can interact. This project will offer Southeast communities an opportunity to rebuild connections to the river and each other. In addition, the project has directed $50 million in federal funds to purchase land for the construction of 800 affordable housing units along the banks of the river. The master plan estimates that approximately 5,200 units will be needed in the coming years. One of the issues the project is faced with is that the improvements could create an inflation of housing costs. As an attempt to mitigate this possibility, the Board of Supervisors has put forward and approved the establishment of land banks to ensure that the prices of housing do not soar beyond values affordable to the current residents. On top of that, people fear that Gary's high-profile amenities will attract upscale developers, leading to displacement of thousands of people in the area who now call it home. Many stakeholders who were initially supporting the LA River restoration withdrew their support from it eventually, as the project will not wholly remove the concrete lining of the river channel. While the riverway will be refurbished with natural landscape and environments, the paved structure will remain intact. The failure to create a natural course of the river has led to many key environment conservation groups to withdraw their support. Without further land reclamation and expansion, it would not be possible to maintain the current flood capacity of the river. The inclusion of natural landscape of flora, fauna, and shrubbery will undoubtedly lead to slowing down the rate of water flow in the river potentially heightening the risk of flooding and damaging the establishments along the river banks. The region of the LA River along Glassell Park was open to the public in early 2022. This area reflects the efforts of the restoration master plan with natural landscape, free-flowing water and fauna and the likes of ducks and birds in its vicinity. It includes activities such as cycling, birdwatching, walking and even kayaking. It is open to the public for recreation from dawn to dusk across four of the 12 months of the year. This section of the LA River looks completely different to what it once was and looks rather like the first step towards transforming itself into a monument of socio-economic value. 
The LA River Project could help transform the long-overlooked landscape into a prime location shared by thriving, walkable, and healthy communities in the near future. Many hope that the lower river communities will finally get the attention they deserve. What are your thoughts on this billion-dollar project? Share your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.